pops, outdoor projects with pops. And today, uh, as you can see, I finished uh, uh, hardening, tempering, and I have uh, filed my knife down to uh, a grid of about, uh, I think I used about 120 sandpaper. And uh, what I'm going to do today is go ahead and put my handles, uh, well, make my handles. And I've got some uh, black ink uh, cocoa bola that I'm going to use for the handles. And basically what I'm going to do is just lay the, my knife on there, uh, kind of uh, save as much material as I can, leaving just a little bit. And I'm going to outline it uh, uh, with a Sharpie here. And then I'm going to cut those out uh, with a little bandsaw that I have. Now you can do it with a, a, you know, a hacksaw or some other type of little saw that you might have. But uh, I'm going to do it that way and uh, cut those handles out. And I've got my pins, and I think I've showed you my pins before. Uh, this is the uh, uh, 3 16 by 1 inch nickel silver pins here. And I'll be using the pins for that. So uh, what I'm going to do is uh, outline this and uh, then uh, go out and, and cut it out in my bandsaw. And uh, I'll do that first, uh, give you an uh, idea of uh, what it looks like, uh, what a rough outline. And then after that, uh, I'll put it kind of together. And I've also got to drill my holes through here and... Uh, with my drill press and uh, get that done and what I'll basically do is once I get my handles cut out I'll drill a hole through and I'll probably demonstrate that too. Okay got my eye protection on better start cutting this. Uh, put the jigsaw on and uh, start cutting out here. Okay, I've cut out the scales. I'm going to mark uh, where I'm going to drill at. And uh, what I'm going to do is kind of line this up uh, where I want everything to begin at. And uh, as far as the handle on the tang, make sure I got enough space at the end of the uh, tang and uh, on top. And uh, I think that should work there fairly well. And uh, what I'm going to do is just use a pencil and uh, mark my holes. And I'll mark my hole for my lanyard last, but I'll go ahead and drill these. And uh, just a sanity check just to make sure everything is there. Okay, I've got my holes here. I've got my drill set up. Uh, let me put you over on the drill. Uh, drill press. Let me move you a little bit closer. And I'm using a 3 16 inch uh, drill bit. Uh, make sure it's going to go all the way through. It is. And I'm uh, going to go ahead and drill uh, through. Through. Let's start it. Nope. Go through. Okay, what I did was uh, 
widen my holes a little bit here. Let's put it all together now and uh, see how it goes. My pins through. Now again, this is just a sanity check to make sure everything's going to fit right and look right. And, uh, and again, I, I do want it tight, so this is going to be fairly tight. And again, uh, just the angle that I drill and stuff, even even with a drill press, you know, you, you can tell it's going to be off a little bit. That went in pretty neat. Uh, go through. Hopefully this will go in fairly easy. Yep, that went in pretty neat. So that's what I've got here right now. And you can see I'm not at the metal in the tank. I've got plenty of overlap. Uh, the start of the handle on both scales is about even. I've got end, plenty of room at the end of my tang. Uh, the bottom here, I've got some sanding to do. Uh, but as long as I'm not, uh, uh, as long as I've got enough wood covering everything, I'm golden on that. So uh, what I do now is to actually take these apart, uh, take the, uh, my blade out, put them back together, and then I'll start sanding them, and I'll show you how to do that. Okay, I've got my knife here, and I've mounted the scales for my handle there. And uh, as you can see, uh, I've got to file down the scales to meet the tang here. And I've done that. Uh, you can see on the top here, I've got that smooth there. And what I've been doing is using this little grinder that I've got right here. And I've also got a belt grinder. Uh, I'll kind of show you that uh, up there uh, right here. That I've been using so between those two that's what I've been doing to uh, to uh, grind down here so I'll show you that just a little bit here and um, kind of show you what it looks like after that Okay, by using uh, the grinder and the sander, or the uh, flat sander and the uh, belt sander, I've got uh, everything smoothed down here on the bottom and the top of the tang and on the sides. There's some areas here that I can't get uh, right here, so I'm going to have to use my Dremel with a little drum sander, and uh, I'll illustrate that, and uh, I'll show you what it looks like after that. And also you'll notice, too, I put some... Uh, some uh, blue uh, painting tape uh, just to protect my blade tip from any type of unnecessary scratches right now. So uh, I'll go ahead and uh, show you using my Dremel.
Okay, as you can see, after I did my Dremel, I was able to do some uh, fine sanding up to the tang on my handle there. Also under from here to there. Just using my Dremel. And uh, I went ahead and just took the tape off just to give you an idea of what it looks like. It's really taking the shape and looking like a knife now. Uh, I really uh, like the way it's looking. Uh, what I've got to do now is do some final sanding and some fine sanding on the handle and also my blade. And uh, what I want to do is probably a uh, so real sharp uh, curve on the edge of my knife handles. I'll probably smooth that out a little bit all the way around. Maybe uh, uh, sand, of course, on top. And, of course, uh, you know, finish and uh, cut out. I cut off my pins and uh, have it look good. But I'm getting there. So uh, what I'm going to do is just do some uh, hand sanding, maybe even using the Dremel, and I'll do a side, and then I'll come back and show you what I'm doing if, when I'm doing this fine sanding. 